Hey y'all, my name is Gregory Ajid, and today I wanted to show you two swing licks that I just transcribed. I really enjoy transcribing, and recently I transcribed Benny Goodman on Sweet Sue, Just You, and Jimmy Hamilton on a tune called The Hair. If you'd like to download these transcriptions, you can visit my website and download the sheet music from there. First off, let's deal with the Benny Goodman lick. This lick comes from his recording of Sweet Sue, Just You, and he plays this phrase over an E7. Check it out. Except he adds a little uh, grace note in there. The first thing I notice about this lick is that it's very similar to the melody of Honeysuckle Rose. Check this out. And that's the melody to Honeysuckle Rose, so you can see that there's a strong connection between and basically shares the same notes. So I'm going to go ahead and categorize this phrase as a Honeysuckle Rose phrase. There are a couple ways to think about this phrase. If you're thinking about it over an E7, you can see that Benny Goodman plays the root, 7, 2, 4, 6, 5, and then resolves to the fifth of the B minor. You can also think of this phrase as a two measure two five, B minor seven for two beats and E seven for two beats. And you can see, if you think about it that way, you're gonna start on the 11 of the B minor seven, 11, three, five, seven, and then you're gonna go to the 13 or the six of the E seven, five, and down back to the five of the B minor. I personally prefer to think of this lick as just the five for four beats, thinking of it as an E7 for four beats. This is a really important phrase to understand in all 12 keys. A lot of licks and melodies are built off of this exact shape. I absolutely love this phrase. Jimmy Hamilton is doing a great job of outlining the harmony, and he's also implying additional harmony to what is being played in the chord changes. Let's dig into it. This phrase is played on the last four measures of a D blues. So you have one measure of E minor seven, one measure of A seven, and it resolves to a D seven. Jimmy Hamilton starts the phrase with this whole step approach. It's like a chromatic approach. And the reason why I'm calling it a whole step approach is because it starts one whole step above the 11 of the minor chord. Jimmy Hamilton goes down the chord, 11, three, seven, five. And then he plays a diminished shape, which is interesting because that shape does not actually exist on an E minor seven. We'll talk about that diminished shape in just a moment, but of course you can see how he resolves it to the third of the A7, does a little chromatic walk down, and then plays that initial shape again. And he wraps it up, of course, with a little Charlie Parker-esque phrase. This phrase is so cool because Jimmy Hamilton is actually superimposing additional harmony. On the first measure of the phrase, Jimmy Hamilton is playing an E minor seven for two beats, and then Jimmy Hamilton is actually playing a dominant two that resolves to the five. He's actually implying an E seven flat nine resolving to the A seven. So that's a really cool substitution because he's playing E minor seven for two beats, then he's playing E seven flat nine, which is the five of A seven, and resolving it. I'm always amazed at how well these players outline harmony. As I was practicing these phrases, I realized that there was a connection between the two phrases. So I'm gonna go ahead and transpose the Benny Goodman lick to an A seven chord. So what do these two phrases have in common? First of all, they're both dominant functioning phrases. They're both played over dominant seventh chords, resolving down a fifth. 
It's a very common substitution to substitute the minor two with its relative five. So instead of playing E minor seven for one bar and A seven for one bar, you're actually gonna play A seven for two bars straight, substituting the A seven for the E minor seven. Let's think of both of these phrases existing over an A seven. The Benny Goodman phrase sounds like this. And then the Jimmy Hamilton phrase starts like this. Both of these phrases have the same group of notes, however, the order is a little different. Benny Goodman is playing the Honeysuckle Rose Lick, and Jimmy Hamilton is actually playing the same group of notes, they're just flipping two of the notes. So the cool thing about the Benny Goodman phrase and the Jimmy Hamilton phrase is that it's actually the same shape being played over a dominant seventh chord. I think of both of these phrases as honeysuckle rose phrases. One goes down and one goes up. I think it's really important to make connections in music because that's how we find our own unique sound, right? These two licks have not really much to do with each other. However, I've drawn a connection between the two that helps me understand it in a certain way. So now, when I play both of these licks, I actually have two different options, and I can combine the Benny Goodman phrase with the Jimmy Hamilton phrase, or vice versa. It's really cool to have a unique understanding of how things operate, and that will help you develop your own sound. I hope you all enjoyed this video. If you'd like to download the sheet music to both of these transcriptions, please visit my website, the transcriptions come with the sheet music. It also comes with different phrases transposed into 12 different keys. And finally, it comes with a chorus of a blues written out using the vocabulary from each of these solos. If you'd like to download these transcriptions, please visit my website and you can download the sheet music there.